Hi, I'm Mr. Miyagi and this is Mr. Miyagi's workshop. Well, today we're going to work on a 95L400 Delica. Now, a lot of times what goes wrong with these old Delicas, especially if they have the uh, automatic transmission, is the overdrive switch. So, I think I've got a solution for it, so I thought I'd film it today just to show you how I'm correcting the problem. So let's get to it. Now I know a lot of you have tried to, to fix the sw switch to stay down. And I've done it too. You know, I've used tape here to hold it down in place. But, you know, that doesn't always work. And it leaves a sticky mess. So let's get this off. Inside here, this unit, the little click doesn't hold it down into place anymore. And in order to fix that, you've got to buy the whole unit. And that gets expensive. So I think I've come up with a solution for this. Um, I'm thinking about putting in a rocker switch. But the problem with that is, where can I locate it? Well, if you look right down here, next to the uh, auto switch, the transmission switch, there's a hole right here you could put it. Now, I've taken out the little snap-in piece. And I think I'll mount the switch right there. So all I have to do is toggle it when I want it. But the next problem is, how do I get this to stay in place? Because the hole is too big. Well, let's go into the shop and I'll, I'll show you my solution. This is the type of switch that I bought. It's a double throw. Now, it also has an off in the middle, which I didn't really want. I just wanted to double throw, but this is all I could find. And I got this through West Marine. So, um, what's nice though is that if you have a different color dash, you could put in a gray. And I also like about it is that whatever position it is, the light will be on. I pulled that piece out, the, the little plug for the dash, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to cut this out with the Dremel and install the switch in that and then put it back into the dash. So the first thing you want to do is you want to measure this. This one here on the width is right around about uh, 13, uh, 13 sixteenths wide. So this one here is roughly inch and three eighths long. I'm going to end up cutting this out very carefully and we hope that uh, we can get her done. So I'm going to get this cell set up in the vise so I can get the Dremel tool on it and we'll do our best. Now, what I've done is I've taken uh, my Dremel tool here and I've basically cut around this edge the best I can, trying to be as careful as I can to uh, take the centerpiece out. I still have um, a section over here that is still part of everything that I'm going to have to cut off. So very carefully, I'm going to block this into the vise again. And then I have a couple more sections. You just Take your time at doing this, and then hopefully it'll work out. So let's see what we got here. All right. I cut that out. Let's see what we got here. So there, we've got it. So now 
it'll pop back into that dash. All I did was I cut out that unit very carefully and slid it in. And I even left the foam. This one came with a little foam around it. I'm leaving that to add a little bit more pressure so this holds in there. And so now I've got to make up um, a couple of wire connectors. So you can see that this slid down on there quite nicely and fits in there. And it covered up all my mis pretty much all my mistakes. And this should pop into the dash fairly easy. We're going to have to make up a ground so that these lights will work and uh, we're going to have to open up the steering console a little bit to get to the wires that we can attach to this. Now there's four screws that hold this in place, this lower section here. Well right there, right here, and right here, and right here. Pop this loose, there's little catches right here that I've popped loose and I'm hoping that I can get this to drop down now. Uh, there is another hidden screw right in there and right there it comes up from the bottom so I'm trying to be very careful here to see what's going on. So now I have to trace down the wiring coming from this shifter and there it is. And I'm going to double check this. I'm going to turn the key on to make sure that I've got the right one. You can see up on the dash there that the light is on. I can turn that off by pushing the button, but it doesn't want to stay down. So we're going to unplug this section here. If I can do this one-handed to see if the light goes out. Yeah, and the light does go out. So this is the proper one. So now I'm going to have to make up something or since this switch isn't any good, doesn't do me any goods, I was thinking I'll just cut it off right here and use these wires to go over to that spot over there. All right, well, I got it to this stage here to be put back in. Um, I used uh, this style of blader. Uh, it's a, they come off to the side, depending on which way you want them to go. I just thought it would fit in there a little better across the dash on the back side. And that's all I had. I didn't have any of the straight ons. But uh, I also left this wire here, which is a ground for the lights for the inside of the unit. And I extended the wires here. I used some um, I used some 20 gauge that I had laying around the shop. Now it doesn't match the colors coming out of the plug, but I know which one goes to where, so that's no big deal. And then, like I said, I gotta find some place to put this as a ground. So let's, uh, let's go install this and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to fish this wire around. It was kind of nice having a little extra on that ground wire so I could fish it around through all this. Um, hopefully, I can get it up through this area in here. Well, that looks nice. Looks pretty sweet. Down is off, up is on. So that should work out fine. Now I'm gonna get over here and we'll do our connecting. But I'm gonna have to route this wire just a little more just to make sure we don't get tangled up in the steering column. Okay, before we get uh, too far along here, I want to test the switch to make sure that it's working properly. Oh, how about that? Of course, we're going to have to go out and test drive it just to make sure. Alrighty, well, we're coming up to our roundabout to leave to go out on the, the main highway here. I can make it through without being 
killed by these people that don't know how to drive a roundabout, I'll be fine. So anyway, we've got it in uh, with the overdrive off. So we'll see how we go here. We get out here a little bit, and I can punch it and get it up to speed. 55 miles an hour. See what happens here. Oh boy, that worked like a champ. Now I didn't run earlier and I was trying to start to record it and it didn't work. Well, the problem was I had the power wire in the wrong spot and now I got it, I've got it in the middle where it's supposed to be, but it works good. We, we can come along and we can now we're down into low, no overdrive. Now we're into overdrive. That is really nice to be able to switch now back and forth without having a toothpick or tape jammed onto uh, the shift knob. <laughs> Gotta love it. So if there's any questions or comments, you can put them in my comment section below. Or you can send them to my email address at tmiyagi at hotmail.com. So if you've liked this episode, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that ringy dingy button over there for the next episode coming up. So this is Mr. Miyagi saying be safe out there. Hope to see you on the road. Ciao.